Hello, everybody. Sorry for so late or so much later than normal. Last night, work was a pain in the ass. And then when I got off work, I laid down in bed. And as soon as I laid down in bed, I got a notification that my base in Scum was getting raided. So I finally got to sleep at around... Uh, uh, probably around seven o'clock. You. Uh, there is no PTU at the moment. Unless something changed that I wasn't aware about. As far as I knew, it was PU only. The hell are they testing in PTU? No PTU. Hey, Babucci. An iconic, what do you... The cutter probably won't go on. Do you mean the cutlass? And yeah, Jay, they, uh, the bingle gets a bit uh, touchy if you uh, get too close to it. Hey, Spectre. Hopefully you're all right now, Spectre. Glad to have you back. Why? Oh, that's because it's not game music soundtrack. Well, glad you're home and feeling better. Well, on the on the road to feeling better. Well, I don't know if Aegis has uh, announced anything new this Invictus. I have stayed off the internet all except for trying to get into the verse today. I'm shocked at how much military personnel is around the showroom floor. we're gonna check out the showroom floor do a little bit of goofing off I'm gonna go try uh, uh, gonna go pull out my star fare take it over to Lyria and try and park a couple furies in the cargo hold maybe go try a bounty or two with it and uh, see how it goes and then we're gonna play uh, the Outlast Trials once the sun goes down and I can get it nice and dark in here. I need to set the damn camera to manual focus so it stops that hunting shit. Yeah, I've heard good things about Starship Troopers. That's kind of what I did unintentionally. Like I said, um, my base on Scum got raided last night. So by a coward asshole that knew I was going to be uh, asleep. And I'm actually building the base up for a stream and admin event next weekend during the streamathon the pac-man ship Welcome. 
Boo boo, it goes. Ever so gently, it goes. Now that's a ship I can't wait to see in game. Kind of confused at what I just witnessed there with that NPC. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing new. I was hoping I would be surprised when I... What the... So is that I don't know. I'm it's not that I'm burning out on Star Citizen. I'm just getting more and more annoyed every fucking day. There we go. Magic. FM fucking magic. Most likely and lower these domes open up. Like Aegis just hasn't put out anything new in so long. Well, and I mean, Aegis's offering is kind of meh at best anyway. is that attention oh the Vulcan let's hope let's hope iconic oh and I'm not doing any of these like new missions or anything until the free fly is over because the servers are already on fire. Yeah. Hey, speeding. Well, I mean. Almost all fucking day. The UEEF Warhammer will be docking momentarily. Stand by for further updates. The UEEF Warhammer will be docking like, I would, I would come over here, sit down, try a couple times, couldn't get in, or it would give some weird fucking error. I'd go do some shit, come back, try again, do some shit, come back, try again. Like I said, I love this game. That's why it's like my primary game. I'm just getting really fucking annoyed with.
the same fucking problem over and over again. I get that it's an alpha. I know all that. I don't want it to sound like every other streamer that's, you know, bitching about the same shit. It's just hard. Capitals will come out at about the same time as Pyro. We're going to be getting the whole C in the next patch. That'll be the first, like, capital ship outside the 890 or the Reclaimer. But, I mean, let's, let's be honest here. There's... Calling it a capital ship, or calling anything a capital ship, all you're just saying is that it's a large ship. It doesn't really mean anything other than the ship's size. Yeah, I tried the arena fix. It wasn't even that. It was just, I wouldn't even pay attention to, I don't even pay attention to the air logs anymore. It's just keep fucking trying until something changes. And I mean, it's a free fly right now, so I know the servers are on fire, so it's to be expected. It just sucks. Fair enough. Um, it just sucks as, as someone who enjoys making Star Citizen content. I can't stream one of the more popular events because I can't even fucking get in. But when I did, I mean, on a positive note, when I did spawn in at Arc L2, I had a frame rate of 180 frames a second. I mean, yeah, but how many people that are still affected by the 318 patch that can't even get in? Like, Sig just pretty much... <sighs> God damn. But I mean, I get it. I understand. It's it's a process. But fuck, it's annoying. So very annoying. Might run over your ball sack. The other thing I have questions about is the fucking bingo carrier and the javelin. It's like every time I sign in, they're at fucking Everest Harbor. Is that where they're permanently docked this year? It's supposed to go to every major station, Bajini, Everest Harbor, Tressler, and or uh, PO.
I not have a stream? All right, give me. Yo, Dixie, how goes it? yeah so it's a free fly give me just a minute and i'll get you i think the link still shows up if not i'll give you the link yeah just click on that link and create your free account and you can test fly for two weeks Yep, if they click on that link and create their account, get an extra, when you, if you decide to buy the game, you get an extra 5,000 uh, UEC to help you out getting started along with whatever starter ship you decide to buy if you decide to buy at the end of the free fly. Nice. The other, another thing I'm going to be working on for hopefully having them done by the end of Invictus is in stream chat. Um, you'll be able to send me your referral code and in the future, it's not put in right now, but in the future, here I know uh, when someone types in list, it will randomly pull someone's code not randomly I, I probably have it do it in order pull someone's code from the list and show that one instead of just my own Yeah, at least this way, Dixie, you'll be able to see if it will uh, even run properly on your machine. Because I know that was a concern of yours. The one piece of advice I can give you is um, the first time you load in, uh, as soon as you load in, just sit still for like 10 minutes. Let all your shaders uh, compile in.
is he still using spinny drives or is he on NVMEs? Because I know a lot of people with a similar spec machine and they're getting, you know, at a minimum 30, I think. Well, I got to start today's daily. Yeah, I know most that have at least an SSD are usually getting 25 to 30, but this, I mean, even at 20 to 20, 20 to 30, this game is very playable. Expat coming in with a raid. Welcome Raiders. Welcome expat. How are you doing? How has the verse treated you today? Welcome everybody. Wow. My name's Angry PC Tech, star citizen streamer, content creator in general. I uh, play a little bit of variety on here. I hope you're having, you're all having a wonderful Sunday and welcome to the stream. Let's see here give expat a quick shout out all the folks that are in here if you're not already be sure to go give expat brat a, a follow show some love we all rise together i'm doing good expat how about yourself that's expat saying we all rise together mine is a rising a, a rising tide lifts all ships but go give expat is my Brit, my shout out. Oh yeah, it helps if I spell it right. What'd you get up to today, uh, expat? How did uh, the event treat you? I have been trying to uh, get in all day. I think Jeremy. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> Zath5, yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. So how is everyone doing out there? My name is Expat Brad. I'm a member of the UEE so Advocacy. Nice. Yeah, we were going to do a demo derby today too, but server uneasiness uh, made it a bit rough. But congrats on the second place. Did you have fun? I'm assuming you did since you took second. And expat, I'm happy to report I have finally gone down to a single streaming rig on a brand new 75, 7950X3D funded by some of the most wonderful people in chat. Such an amazing community we have here. Monster S1, thank you so much for the resub. Greatly appreciated. Going on six months too. An absolute legend. Now, everybody, you guys came in right as I was getting the daily set up, considering I started my stream late today. So give me just a minute. Let me finish getting that set up. Uh, you guys can all enter for the daily. Every day during Invictus that I stream, uh, we'll be doing so, uh, some type of giveaway, culminated by the end of the event, where we will be giving away several, several ships. Uh, which is going to be determined strictly by the number of subs. Every sub, everything that comes into this channel goes right back to you guys in the community and ships that we give away every month. So again, thank you. I couldn't do it without all you guys. You're all amazing legends, each and every one. Xanatos Fox, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, uh, if you'll notice expat down at the bottom in the center there, uh, it shows CPU temp. Uh, the frame I'm get frame rate I'm getting in game when I have the the game in the main window, and uh, GPU temp. You know, a little bit of a nerd touch there in the stream. Let me move out of the way of ASOP so I'm not blocking it. You know, being that asshole. Wow, that guy just materialized out of the floor.
how have you been as well, expat? It's been a hot minute since the last time we hung out. How's life? How's work? How's everything else treating you? Been staying busy? Can I find it? I'll find the right buttons in a minute. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, 318 was kind of rough. Uh, 319 shaping out to be better. Uh, but as we all know, every year when Invictus rolls around and the free flies come in, the hamster gets stuck on the wheel and is stuck spinning around until he's drunk and dizzy. Oh, I didn't see that. Unfortunately, I'll have to go check it out. I'll have to go look at it on the store. Here. I'm not a... To me, the Titan doesn't really call to me, but it is a nice starter ship. It's a nice all-arounder ship. We got the new daily key in. Started. Yeah. All right, everybody should have a thousand tokens, including the raiders that came over. Everybody got some as being for being part of the raid. Thank you all. Uh, yeah, so when I tab out expat, uh, game audio drops. It'll come back here in just a second as soon as I click back in the window. So yeah, today's keyword is exclamation A. Just go ahead and type that in and you'll be uh, entered in for today's, for today's daily. Welcome Jeez, words are hard to today. Vehicle retrieval system. Welcome to the ASOT vehicle retrieval system. Goodbye. Let's see, we were gonna pull Welcome out the, the Starfarer. Sideways, thank you so much for the file. Oh, greatly appreciated and welcome. Gunslinger, welcome to chat. Uh, you may, if the bot's being overloaded, it may be a bit delayed. Let me check. Been doing some tweaking and tuning on some of the bots. Trying to get everything fine-tuned for when I launch mine. So we can mimic the features. Angry bot. Hoping it's coming along well. Yes, you should get a notification. And if you get... You'll also, if you have uh, whispers open, you should get a, if, you, if you've done it more than once, you'll get a notification uh, to be careful in doing it multiple times because it will remove you for spamming chat. All right, so the Starfarer is in Hangar 7. We're going to take the Starfarer over to Lyria, put a couple of uh, Furies in it, and maybe go do some uh, VRTs or uh, VLRTs. I can tell you, I see the number going up. I can show you real quick that it is going up. Yeah, yeah, in a star fair, because why not? Someone type in uh, that hasn't entered already, type in exclamation Aegis with a lower A. All right, now try it with a capital A, Spectre, or arrow. I wanna, it's going to be really weird.
Okay, so WiseBot changed something. Has to have a capital A. So everybody, uh, I'm going to turn off the anti-spam. Make sure you type in exclamation A just with a capital A. My apologies. I didn't know they had changed that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yes, and in, in a Starfarer because uh, it's for the daily Aristavo. Such a big ship. God, I love this ship. I'm glad I permanently added it to my fleet, this Invictus. MAGA, how are you? I always misjudge how long that ramp is. Yeah, a lot of people hate on it because they get lost, which it is easy to get lost in this ship, but you just spend a little bit of time in it. It becomes second nature, just like every other ship. It's just because Pyro's not in, it doesn't really have a purpose, so to speak, at the moment. As part of this year's Invictus festivities, take a tour of an active naval destroyer. UEEF Warhammer is currently docked at the station and accepting visitors. Don't miss this incredible... Why, why am I hearing the javelin, javelin audio? You are clear to launch. Could be. No, just because I moved doesn't mean it's time to hop up here in my lap, buddy. Just needed to move so I had full throttle. Right. Such a chonky boy you have to boost to get her off the ground. But like I was saying back in January, now that PES is in, um, we're going to start seeing, just like we saw in this patch, we're going to start seeing a buttload of things happen really quick in game. A lot of content getting added as we push to beta. It's annoying. I know a lot of the, the bugs and stuff that we encounter are annoying, but and I know it's hard to stay positive, but we'll get there and we'll be better for it on the other side. Du is, is it Douglas Tun or Doug Laston? To beta and beyond. Exactly. <coughs> Going to maybe when we get beta, we get the new Moby glass, and it won't suck to try and navigate anywhere. Here's hoping, right? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. 
Come on. Who are we back to minute long delay before things? There we go. That would be another nice feature to have as well. Or better yet, how about a damn clicker? So we can open the door on open open the doors on our ships without having to get out and run to them every time. Uh, Tony Macaron, that's an interesting question. So if you primarily play solo, yes. If you play with a bunch of friends that all like dogfighting, um, I would go with a buttload of furies. Yeah, I mean, for God's sake, my 2017 Buick can do it. Why can my 2953 Misk Starfare not do it? But I mean, let's face it, we have lost windshield wiper tech and night vision. I do drive a Buick. Doesn't mean I'm an old man, it means I like comfort. <laughs> and it's an SUV Buick at that. Yep, that's... I don't know if it's my, I can't remember if it's mine the Encore or the Enclave. Mine's the big one. I always get them backwards. Yeah, so I have the Enclave. <laughs> well, you can... So one thing I recommend doing turn the the default gamma down in this game and it will save your eyeballs a lot i have no problem admitting that i'm an old man Yep, so everybody should get a, if they have whispers turn, whispered, whispers from strangers turned on, you should get a confirmation message when you type exclamation Aegis. For Noxus, you got to use a capital A, because apparently Wise and myself are assholes. I'm not old, but I'm not young. I'm a little, I'm, I'm a cut, well, actually, no, I'm not. Next month, uh, July, I will be one year younger than you. No, uh, I'm not going mining. I'm going to pick up the Furies and going to go do some, uh, going to go give them some dog fighting trials. The day they came out, trying to do anything in the server was next to friggin' impossible, so. We're taking Chonky Boy out. Oh, you would have to Google that in Twitch. I'm not sure. My sincerest apologies. Normally stuff like that I know, but I'm not. I know by default it's turned on. Are you following me, demon? You have to unfold the wings, monster.
I'm gonna have to leave this thing hovering above the above the ground a little bit because I think trying to fly a fu fly trying to fly a fury up underneath those tanks and the fuel nozzle is gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Yep, noodle, that's correct. And welcome to the stream, noodle and pasta. Yeah, but those pods are fucking expensive to replace. Slow down. Oh, wait. Oh, cruise control. It's more the refueling arm I'm worried about than the pods. Oh, man. Look at that. It's like I know what the hell I'm doing. I have a feeling that was speed demon there. Exclamation Aegis with a capital A, clockwork. Attention. The UEE Navy would like to invite you to explore one of our fleet's active military vessels. The UEES Warhammer is currently docked at this station and accepting tours. It's a uh, capital A, just like clockwork did up there. Yeah, ages. Um, it just adds you into the entry pool for the daily giveaway. Every day we, I need to put that back in the pop-up. Uh, every day that I stream during Invictus, which it will, stop it. Um, it will be at an absolute minimum every manufacturer change um until thursday and then on thursday i'm doing another seven day streamathon and then my absolute favorite feature of this i don't have a fucking helmet Yeah, Renoxus, if you're nearby. How did snow get here? I'm on Lyria at... SAL five. Cause apparently I'm uh, having one of those days. I'm having a Monday. Cause I have been trying to get in games since like 8 a.m. Well, no, I take that back since like 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. shit. I didn't go to bed till like 8 a.m. No, I left it off and I I remember when I was putting all that on. I left it off intentionally. And then just had an absolute total brain fart. I should be able to put a bit of fury underneath that.
see somebody's flashlight. No, 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 I'm back in. Stop that. I should be able to fit a couple in here. I know you can fit two inside a Cuddy Black. We've already tested that. But while we're here, Renox has just messaged me when you're uh, when you're here. We'll go ahead and I'll, I'll give a whole nickel tour of the Star Fair. So this is my favorite part. I call it the booger chute. It's a docking port or an airlock right underneath the the head looking portion of this giant flying turtle. No, Aristavo. Aegis is not a brand that really speaks to me. Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? The UEEF Warhammer, a javelin class. Willie, I swear to God, if you don't stop farting underneath my desk, we're going to have a problem. And this is the airlock to go out onto the catwalk, which we're not going to go in because I will die. but where everybody gets confused is so there's two ways to get up to the living quarters on this ship you can either go up this uh ladder here or you can loop around the bridge deck and go up the stairs and now you're on the living quarters Jesus, really? And then here's the main quarters. So this is one of the top turrets. that I am apparently not special enough to sit in. Probably don't want... Oh, that, that would be why. I think it's trying to 30K. There it goes. Storage. <laughs> Captain's quarters with the uh, spaceman bed sheets. There's no helmet in either one of those buildings. That sucks. Well, if I start seeing 40k players in this game, I'm going to be uh, kind of scared. And then the head. Crew quarters. Again, there's one turret. And then, let's see. Where is the refinery? I believe the refinery is going to be... So this will be one of the refinery stations, most likely. And then there will be... Oh yeah, that's the other turret. There's two aft turrets.
But yeah, this ship. Oh yeah, and then here's the gravity generator. Storage bay. And another turret. This is the Misk Starfare. And then, yeah, back down to the bridge deck. All the escape pods, which are all over the place on this ship because basically a ticking time bomb. Fuel control valves. Which if somebody wants to get refueled by it, I'll go ahead and throw some fuel on it. Now we can go through a fueling process, kind of show that off. So, uh, yeah. So to fill up the tanks, you have to go into manual. And if you want to know what it caused to fill up half this ship with Quantanium, the three pods. Um, Quantanium, three of the pods, is 199,298 credits. We're not going to do anywhere near that. We're going to do like half of one tank and then we're going to do half the hydrogen tank oh yeah it's expensive to fill this bad boy up and it takes a while too but what's cool is now that we got refuel running is I can go over here while it's refueling. And we go to refueling and we can watch the Quantanium pod. Oh, both of those are getting shit. Oh, that's right. All right. Whoops. So you can do it two ways. So you can select right here and you can hit auto price for each of your fuels and it will set to the current market value. Or you can um, set your own. So right now, Quantum fuel is 1,337 per SCU and hydrogen is, I don't have any on board, so it won't price. Let me add fucking hydrogen to the tank. Are you wanting me to open the, the door so you can fly your fury in here, demon? Yeah, there'll be a, a, a nice tax added on there. My, uh, my plan is when Pyro goes live to sit in a corner and wait till some poor soul runs out of fuel. I'm sure there'll probably be others doing the same thing. It's at the back. So now we're gonna add 50% uh, fuel to pod two, uh, pod two port side and pod two starboard side. Hydrogen's cheap. Java, you have to use a capital A. And then we'll go back here to the screen. And you can watch the tank get filled up.
and expat again if you're still in chat thank you so much for the raid greatly appreciated much love you're an absolute legend Okay, store. There we go. Oh, okay. Coming to the door, Renoxus. I'm coming. Let me in. I'm stuck in your pocket. I know it's cold as shit out there. Yeah, the helmet door dash is here. Thank you, kind sir. As part of this year's Invictus festivities, take a tour of an active naval destroyer. The UEES Warhammer is currently docked at the station and accepting visitors. Don't miss this incredible opportunity. I don't know. I think we could get a fury under here. Think. You don't think it would fit under the fuel boom? Yes, if the ship is stopped. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, they can still steal the fuel pods. You should be able to. I CCU'd. Um, I actually made mine one of my, I used one of my LTI, uh, my referral tokens and turned it into this bad boy. All right, let me, yeah, I'm not going to crap. I'm not going to blow up your ship. I'll blow up one of mine. You guys may want to clear the pad because those two front tanks are half full of quantanium, by the way. So the Starfarer, so the only difference, or there's a couple of subtle differences, the Gemini has extra armor plating and has a missile uh, accompaniment in the front uh, nose. You can remove the missile module and put in a hydrogen, or put in a fuel scoop uh, to suck in fuel and whatnot. That's really the only two differences. I went with the Gemini because of the extra armor plating. Vehicle retrieval system. But as far as like fuel capacity or anything like that, they're all the same. You can put the same tanks on the Gemini as you can the, um, Da, 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 as you can the regular star fare. Please visit us again. Goodbye. The Good massive part of the, the, the other thing I like about the star fare is it has a couple of massive guns on it as well. Um, it turns like a boat. Selected. Stand by. But it's fun to fly. Has been delivered to the following location. 
and for its size, like for to me anyway, it it handles like you would expect it to. Like for me in a game like this, when um, the biggest thing for immersion to me is when a ship handles the way you would expect it to handle. Hey, Pesta. Correct. I do well. How about yourself? Hello. How can this help you today? Systems. All right, let's turn that throttle way the hell down. Oops, that was a little bit too much. I need to get these curves put in. I get a bad way. Make this Invictus special by exploring an active duty Javelin destroyer. The UES Warhammer is currently docked with the station, but won't be for long, so don't miss your chance. No, no way. It won't friggin' fit. Do I have to unfold the wings? Yeah, but I think with the wings out, it would be too wide. I can't believe this won't fit. Oops, other way. I'm looking at the front, so the controls are backwards.
I mean, if it fits, it sits, right? So you could fit Two there, two there, and probably four here. Maybe five if you put one way back here. Have to use a capital A, Pesta. So we're, we're shoving them in the star fair and then we're going to go do a couple bounties. We are, I'm going to wait to play the spooky game until after the sun goes down. Are you making cookies? No. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Hola, DJ. See ha. And we'll grab the. the Do we go full science mode and see how many we can cram in there? Or do we just put a couple in there and go? Thank you. Please visit us again. The ASOC vehicle retrieval system. And Fury's into the Star So we fit, uh, the, so far the testing I've been able to do when the game would allow me, um, <clears throat> you can fit two inside of Cuddy Black. Um, and then the game kept crashing over and over again. One thing you'll want to do when flying this ship though is turn your SC your speed controller down, like way down. So Dixie, you got it installed, eh? Okay. Yeah, I love the engine movement on the Furies as well. I would have if the game would have cooperated. I know you Silas got 18 into a Carrick.
you may have to unfold the wings it doesn't look like they don't move out as far as your brain thinks they do I know other streamers did it for science, but I think after Invictus, um, I'm probably going to do a whole bunch of videos on that. Like where one day we take, we pick a ship, we fill it up with as many furies and then we take the same ship and fill it up with as many fury MXs. And then we just go out and do beacons with them all day. Six in the front hangar, five in the main hangar, nine in the top hangars. What top hangar? You're talking about on the top landing pad? Will they fly there? Like they'll stay there? Every time I've tried to land something on that, it does, but every time I've tried to land on that damn thing, it's caused death. Like the two times I tried to land a miscarazer on it, instant blow up. Like just boom, gone. Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? The UEEF Warhammer. A javelin class destroyer is currently docked with this station and open to the public for tours. It might have been. Uh, that's kind of what I chalked it up to, but every time I had tested it in 317 all the way up to right before 318 dropped, I'd blow up. I mean, if you can put them there, that's awesome, but my experience has been otherwise. Please visit us again. Bye. You haven't really been able to eat much in a couple of days and then you throw a big heavy greasy burger on it. I mean, in my opinion, I think the doors on the 890 jump that cover the hangar and on the Carrick, they should keep their gravity wells. And if you can use them to park shit there, park shit there. May not be what the manufacturer intended, but if you can do it, don't change it simply because you can. This is supposed to be a sandbox game that gives you the freedom to do what you want to do with your stuff whether it's designed to do it or not. Oh yeah, I made a quarter pound, uh, quarter pound smoked grilled cheeseburgers. Oops. That's probably it because we did that quite a, a couple of times with the 890. It sucks though, because doing that particular gameplay where you take an 890 and put some ballistas on top of it and turn it into a real like naval battleship is an absolute blast. It sucks if that's why they did it.
Yeah, fun detected. <laughs> Well, there's really not a lot to nerf on them. They don't have quantum drive. <coughs> so, I mean, there's not a whole lot there to nerf. Are you guys, what are you guys doing with those over there? Right now, the big thing everyone's complaining about is that the arrow has quantum drive and is roughly the same size as the Fury, but the Fury doesn't have quantum. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not going to be a matter of them buffing other ships. It will be them nerfing. It's so much easier for them to nerf one ship than it is for them to buff all the others. Retrieval system. To celebrate this year's Invictus, the UEE Navy would like to invite members of the public to explore an active duty destroyer. You're true, DJ. Your way to the docking area. This unique and that's the same thing with the Razor. The Arrow and the Razor were never snub fighters. were never intended to be snub fighters. Exactly, store. Like Kinda to be honest, I'm I'm probably gonna buy a few just to keep shoved in the little corner. What do you mean it can't repair here? Did you crash a fury inside the my 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 brand new Gemini. Did you did you scratch my paint? Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was asking if you guys were trying to uh No. So like the terminals you're standing at, or you see me standing at, um, you claim a new one, basically. You get to claim insurance on it. But it shows a marker. Um, as long as you have, in like the ones you buy with real money, um, you'll always have a way to claim them. No, other than insurance harpoon, depending on which package you buy and which variant you go with. The only thing that's different is the paint, really. But no, it's not like gone forever. So, I mean, if that was the case, uh, I wouldn't have sunk as much money into this game as I have. No, like, for example, like that ship right there that's turned upside down, a guy can attempt to recover it, but most likely he'll go to a terminal similar to this one on a planet and just claim a new one. His engines did it. Not, I didn't. Speeding Demons Mock Jesus Flyover did it. Welcome to the ASOT Vehicle Retrieval System. Please visit us again. 
Goodbye. Well, no, gentlemen, I think it's broken. Vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Goodbye. I'm just gonna wait till I get up there and stand on it to spawn that fucking thing on my head. Well, it looks like Jesus H Christ. Listen here, you little turd of a TIE fighter. Yeah, see, I, I turned the throttle on my shit way down. Ah, uh, the Cuddy Steel, the ship you get when you want you and 16 of your friends to get killed at the same time. Because the Cuddy Steel is a Cuddy with extras. You can fit more asses in a Cuddy Black than you can a Cuddy Steel. My lights are brighter. <laughs> Can't they just sit on the floor? All Invictus attendees, tours of the UEES Warhammer will be ending soon. Thank you. Do you guys want to go refuel your Furies? No, they're actually right about the same. The arrow, the difference is the Fury is going to feel faster. I'm straight up if you guys want to come refuel if you haven't done it yet and you want to try it out.
Oh, I'm not doing refuel in, in Atmo. That would be a pain in the ass. I have no doubt other people have tested it, but that doesn't mean, you know, other people may want to try it. Now, the one thing that sucks with the Starfare is you can't refuel it yourself. Like, you can't refuel your own Fury, I don't think. You would have to get out, dock, order fuel, leave the canopy, float down your cat, float to your catwalk, and then pump your fuel in. I don't think they really worried about tuning it for Atmo right now, Pesta, because like one of the big marketing or one of the big things they talked about in ISC was uh, the flapperons. Make this Invictus special by exploring an active duty javelin destroyer. The UES Warhammer is pumping. Hey, Overwatch. But won't be for long, so don't miss your chance. Yep, Sundays and Mondays are usually all day streams for me. Today was a bit different. Jesus Christ, how long till that thing turns into pitch? Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't think they're really going to do much for like any vehicles aerobatics at the moment. Um simply because they're fixing to start tuning everything for atmospheric you know where Bernoulli's principle actually comes into play and has an effect on how your ships will handle in various atmospheres and what I'm curious about is and this is going to be the fun one that's going to Fuck with so many people if they do it is if atmospheric density is going to actually be a thing and be varying on different planets like it is like it would be in real life you know how is it going to how is my aircraft going to handle flying through the atmo on lyria versus art corp or in hurston where the air is denser Why did you go exploded, Speeding? No worries, Pesta. Am I still in fucking Atmo? Well, yeah, because you're going to have varying atmospheric density based upon your altitude. Like your air, like on Earth, um, if I'm in a plane and I'm at sea level, the amount of power it takes for my plane to lift off is completely different than if I'm at, if I'm taking off at Colorado. Okay, so I should be out of atmosphere. Why are my Can I get up? Oh. 
Yeah, Credo, you did, because now all I see is a purple flash. That was... Wow! No, but uh, Wing Commander was his brainchild. It was his... his brainchild. Or however the fuck that term goes. Credo with the gifted sub going out to Nas to Black and Tex with two going out to uh, Majestic Tracks and Christian. Thank you guys so much for the gifted subs. Greatly appreciated. You're both absolute legends. Thank you so, so much. Attention. The UEE Navy would like to invite you to explore one of our fleet's active military vessels. The UEEF Warhammer is currently docked at this station and accepting tours. I would be more impressed with it if I could fly it. Or shoot something with it. I'm curious, if I turn... Should be able to turn engines off. There you go. See if I start falling. I'm right there, but oh, was the photo competition over today? <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry you didn't win, Nazda. Your photos are amazing. Your your shots are absolutely amazing, by the way. You should have won. So, Renoxus, are you going to come up here and uh, refuel? Have you done refueling yet? Let me do this. I literally went just straight up, but here I can do this. Do 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 do. Right to party. Right to party. Oh, Spectrum's on fire. Well, if you want to come refuel as well, you can. I'll send you an invite, putt putt. We need to start having training drills on this stuff anyways, because it's going to be a thing. Uh, so RSI SIG themselves did as part of the photo competition. I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nazda. Hmm. Fresh chocolate chip cookies. It was a SIG giveaway, wasn't it, Nazda? Or was it another streamer giveaway? So whoever asked earlier on the difference in the Starfare Gemini and the Starfare is um, this section right here. 
Hang on, I gotta go check on the dog. Yeah, and see, you can leave the armor on, pop the missiles out, and put a fuel scoop in it, and you're fine either way. I don't know how many I'm writing, how much I'm writing off this year, Rand Print. You guys found me, right? All Invictus attendees, source of the UEE. Aren't those some cute little turrets right there? Those are aimed at the guy that you're fueling up to make sure he pays. Oh, gotcha. No, it's not quite the same trick, but I still get to ride it off. No worries. But there is one thing on this ship I agree with. That they need to fix fucking ASAP because it's a huge problem. Security wise, that is. And I'll show you what it is. So, Renoxus, when you get behind me, target my ship and press N to request docking permission. Let me extend the boom. Well, that's a weird place for a Titan. I would have to say that's a visual glitch. Go ahead and approach and line up. And then when you get two green circles, press and hold in for auto dock and it should dock you. All right, now press F2 to open up your Moby glass and requ request refuel. It will show me how much you're requesting.
So we'll open the nozzle. Go to pod management and we're going to refill your hydrogen first. Did you undock? That says you're undocked. Attention civilians. We are ending the tour for the day. Please make your way to the exit and have a great Invictus. Thanks to everyone who came out to support this year's Invictus, but the UEES Warhammer is now closed for tours. Hang on, it's glitched. Let me terminate and reset the boom. Back up just a little bit, just in a straight line. Now target and request docking permission again. You may not need it. The Warhammer is now off limits to civilians. If you haven't already, please exit the ship immediately. Watching. Uh, not really early. Um, I actually, I should have been on hours ago. If you press and hold in, it should auto dock you. Attention, Invictus attendees. You are still on board. You are in violation of UEE Navy security protocols. Somebody's about to catch some crime stats. You are in violation of UEE law. Stand by. Security are en route. Motherfucker, no, I'm not. I am nowhere near your ship. Are you in the uh, Sentinel? Renox has closed your landing gear and request. Is it not letting you dock at all? <coughs> you have to turn on the weapon first in your weapons menu. Okay, so close your landing gear. The UEES Warhammer is ready to disembark. Thank you to all our attendees and enjoy your Invictus. How are your ship off? Transferring to local authorities. Will it turn? Will it let you turn your ship off? Can I get off? 
Call me Gerb. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. And another purple sight, purple spot in my vision. All right, now turn this shit back on. And see if it'll let you close your landing gear. Yep, pretty much was. <laughs> Doing good, Gilla. Putt putt, uh, let putt putt lock onto me and request docking permission and see if that clears you from being docked. I think you're stuck in docked mode. You may have to jump around the planet to clear it out and then jump back to me, Renoxus. That's a new bug. All right, lock on to me and Granted, booms extended, proceed with docking. No new concepts announced yet that I'm aware of. You see a docking screen, correct? So go down a little bit. And it's, whoops, yeah. Well, don't, you're, you're hitting my boom. Now you're. Damn it, putt putt. Hang on. I gotta go stop the ship from spinning now. <laughs> I guess I should have left my engines on to avoid that, huh? Yeah, you still have to line up and it will pull you in, but he was above the boom. Contact received. Engines. There we go. What are you doing? That's <laughs> how much damage did you just cause to the fucking boom? Oh no, if fuel would have been going through there, I believe 
if memory serves correctly, if somebody does that with fuel going through there, it can blow the whole fucking ship. Really? Oh, you might have been getting a visual glitch that was because your character, your your dude didn't see the boom get deployed. You didn't see it deployed. Yep. All right. Jay, is the boom deployed for you? Or Renoxus, I mean, is the boom showing deployed for you? I don't know why I said J. Interesting. Hang on. No, some of them are on the side. But right now, everything... Who's out there flying around? Who's in the Titan? I'm so fucking confused right now. Oh, okay. Well, shit. I guess refueling's broken for the moment. We'll just say it's because the server's on fire. I just saw what looked like a security guard ship with the security guard out of his ship flying around a dead body. I was like, so the NPCs loot dead bodies now? Now it's showing you all greens for docking. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do anything. Oh yeah, but that doesn't mean the server's not in shit. Yeah, press and hold it in. Let's see what it does. If we blow up, we blow up. A 
Attention. The UEEF Warhammer is en route to this station as part of the... <laughs> just just random carcass of a C-8R floating by. Sorry for the interruption, but the UEEF Barbary Carrier has arrived outside the station for any of you interested in taking a look. Well, if you guys want to fly the Furies on board, because apparently... Either his ship's bugged or my ship's bugged. Or both. Power the ship off and power it back on and immediately press Y. That's unnerving. Hang on, let me see what the fucking dog's doing. I have more than enough Furies aboard. You're more than welcome to come through one. Were you able to get out of your sheet? Your sheet. Your seat, Renoxus? Hang on. I will come rescue you. Press the button to open. Right, we're in a party. I should be able to open your doors. Come close. Come closer. All right, that's good. Right there. I don't want you to accidentally hit me. Dude, your whole ship is fucking bugged. Ow. Um. The sound effect. Am I like doing any damage to you at all? My dude's over here about to have a fucking heart attack. It's like he's not even here. There he goes. Yep, you'll wake up here in a minute and you'll be able to get out of your seat. Now try and get out of your seat. What the... Warhammer has 
now docked and will be open for call soon. Attention, the UEEF Warhammer is now open for the public. Now you're out of your damn seat. Nope. That's the hot spot. But look at the frame rate. Can you still not get out? Hello, how can this help you today? Systems on. Now you're out. What the? Press and hold Y again. Press U. Then press R, then press Y. the second Okay, they need to work on that gravity area. I'm just gonna soft death his ship. Where'd he go? <laughs> Missile boat or gunboat? Oh my god, the collision box. Landing gear up. <laughs> nice landing there, putt putt. <laughs> Hey, McGilly. An access. Access. Attention. 
Poodoo! How do you do, Poodoo? Welcome Raiders. How are you? Poodoo. I don't know why it rated twice either. Speed and Demon. Thank you for the gifted sub. Renoxus. Sorry, I killed you. You're, well, on a positive note, you're not bugged any longer. So if you want to fly back out here, we'll wait and you can grab your Fury. I'm guessing Speedin's wanting to test the. Uh, Why is your ladder still down? Nice. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Greatly appreciated, Raiders. For those of you that are new here, my name's Angry PC Tech. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my toys and I'm going home. <laughs> Who wants to go do some bounties? <laughs> Yeah, you were alive, you ejected. Your can your can your canopy <laughs> words? Your canopy is running at mock Jesus. Nah, no worries, Poodoo. I I appreciate it. Speeding, if you want to come over here to this ship, you're more than welcome to, to hang out on board. I've got more than enough. Well, you have to unfold the wings, putt putt. Oh. Well, then come on out. You mean target friendly? It's my fucking ship. Of course it's friendly.
Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? The UEEF Warhammer, a javelin class destroyer, is currently docked with this station and open to the public for tours. Right. I'm just glad uh, Renoxus didn't press charges against me. Renoxus, are you coming back? Yes, I was only trying to help. Everything I did was in the in the name of kindness and science. I promise. Alright, no worries. This is the ship I'm most curious about. Ah, shit. Put put. <laughs> Hang on, I could have backed this one up a little bit better. My parking job sucked. I gotta admit, just the aspect that you have to put this much thought into fucking parking. Ah! There we go. All right, to the bridge. <laughs> that's a, that's why we only give him the flying beer can I'll let you guys play rock paper scissors lizard Spock to see who's gonna take the helm and who's gonna take the con or engineering sorry Because this should be interesting. That's fucking weird. Hang on, I gotta check something now. I found buttons. <laughs> this is the Starfair Gemini. There we go. Alright, I'm actually gonna jump to we're going to jump to area 18. Um, just to clear out any bugs that might be existing. No, not the party member. Oh, for the love of God. Celebrate this 
Diego and Victor. The UEE Navy would like to invite members of the public to explore an active duty destroyer. Please make your way to the docking area for this unique opportunity. I have no idea if mo if any multi what multi crew stations are available for them over there. Dixie, have you hopped in game yet at all, or did you just get it downloaded? Uh, shooty bits are on the second floor. You got two pods towards the back. Then you have a size six uh, turret on the ceiling. Oh, Renoxus, are you at... Bikini? Are you at Bikini Bottom? Well, we're outside if you want to fly out with a uh... All the fireworks are going Looks like they just ended. Every time the fireworks go off, the server kicks you. Or the server dies. Yeah. Yeah, those are big guns. Big boom booms. Renoxus, what are you in? Oh, okay. You're going to go salvage all that shit we just... So it's literally that all that stuff will be right above SPAL five. I can take you back there if you want to go back there. Our SAL five. Come over here, get in formation, and we'll try and do a tandem jump. <laughs> but, but. I'm pretty sure that that big fucking cannon on the top of this thing will take his shields out in a single hit. Let me know when you have Lyria set for your jump point. You ready? In three, two, one. Did it pull you? Showed you a spooled. Okay. As part of this year's Invictus Festivities, explore an active 
naval destroyer. The UEEF Warhammer is currently docked at the station and accepting visitors. Don't miss this incredible mm. opportunity. All right, so now we're going to SAL five. Oh my god, you big heavy bastard. Did you turn it on, Speeding? Yeah, I, we just flew through our debris field. <laughs> Do ba do do do. Have you never been inside a Star Fairy speeding? Just be careful. There's a couple of elevators that will uh, dump you out right above. Oh, Starfare is like one of my favorite ships. All right, so we're getting close. Yeah, you know, there's a couple of elevators that'll dump you out on the catwalk. Yeah, they are. So we were at an altitude. 
like right as it kicks out of altimeter mode and goes to pitch mode. Did you find them, Renoxus? I didn't. I think Putt Putt did. Putt Putt or Speeding. I don't know which one of them went Grave Robin. Okay. God, I love this ship. Okay. Turn off all the lights here in just a little bit and play Outlast Trials. Miss a lock. No. I'm kidding. Let's see if we have any bounties. You guys want to go do some back do a couple bounties in the Furies? Let's see how Attention. 
Attention. The UEE Navy would like to invite you to explore one of our fleet's active military vessels. The UEEF Warhammer is currently docked at this station and accepting tours. Where is he at? We gotta jump all the way to fucking Crusader. That sucks. Are you coming aboard the Starfare or are you bringing the Vulture? Stop. I guess it helps. <coughs> We're hunting Willie right there. All right, preparing to jump in. Everybody's on board. In five, four, three, two, one, jumping now. Nice, Killa. We're locating, we're looking for Willie Manzano. Do any of you guys have some water on you by chance? I just realized I'm at 9% fucking water. All right, well, I'll go ahead and hop out of the pilot's seat. That way, when I fall unconscious, you guys will... Who knows, we might get to Hurston and I can land it on a, or land by a pad on Everest and run inside and get me a drink of water. Oh, hush it. We're not hunting you. Oof. Nice, killer. 
Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? A UEEF Warhammer, a javelin class. No, lay down. Company docks with this no, lay down. Open to the public for tours. You're not getting a cookie. They got chocolate in them. Shit's bad for you. Bad for your liver. What game's that? God. Well, I'm gonna die just trying to plot a fucking course. This is the Star Fair. Boundary. Nope, can't say that I've heard of it. I'll have to check it out here in a minute. We're, like I guess, we're gonna go do a couple bounties, and then I'm gonna play uh, the Outlast Trials. No, I did not disco. As he, as he wants me to play it because a uh, few people have said it will get, get at least one good jump scare out of me and I am next to impossible to get jump scares out of. I don't really plan on landing. There we go. No, I did not, Chris. I was curious what it was, but I haven't seen any of the reports. Probably a redonkulous amount of money. Nope, not a bad first day. I swear to God, it sounded like a fury just drove by my fucking house. Okay, good. All right, now I gotta run to the booger tube, float inside and get me some water before I pass out. Do, 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 do. In ship storage? Oh, negative. Let me see. Where is it at? I bring it here because my eyeballs are throbbing. Coming down the stairs. To celebrate this year's invictus, the UEE Navy 
would like to invite members of the public to explore an active beauty destroyer. Please make your way to the docking area for this unique opportunity. Drink it already, Jesus. That got me up to 40%, 50%. That should be good for my guy looks drunker than Cooter Brown now, but. All right. <laughs> oh, Renox has found the booger tube. Yeah, so this up here is what I refer to as the booger tube because when you're landed on the ground and you stand on it and you push the button to go out it You fall out like a booger got sneezed out <laughs> If you want to yeah, go ahead How many is it? There's four of us. Yeah, so we would need one more. Let me uh Let me fix this parking job
Yeah, sorry, I was yelling at the dog. Um, whoever it was that asked about my temperatures a while ago, um, I also don't have the fans at 100%. Hey, Charles. Waiting on Renoxus to get here with a furry. <laughs> That's a star fair. It's a little bitty ship that looks like a beer can. Um, it's got four size two lasers or 20 size two missiles attached to it. And four bottle rockets duct taped to each side. Here he comes. Have you not seen the new Fury yet, Ori? I right, gotcha. And you'll see one here in a minute as soon as Renoxus goes to. Oh. There it is. Got a. Are you unfolded? You got to unfold it. Are you back in the ship? <laughs> okay. Let's go get our bounty, shall we? Oh. Well, it's a good thing we brought the Furies. Uh, cruise control off. Jesus. <laughs> yep, it's definitely a good thing we brought the Furies. Because guess what, gentlemen? We have to now fly 440 kilometers in this big old bastard, or we take the Furies. What do you think? Oh, yeah, they'll do 400 kilometers, no problem. Do 
Damn it, I wanted the missile boat. Who parked to this one? Yeah, we're good. Okay, speeding. Hang on, hang on. I see you over there jumping. <laughs> Just fly up to OM1. You can plan a marker. Creep forward, unfold. Oh God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I would have moved out a little bit more to the center before unfolding, but you know, that works too. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, God. We're all going to die. Get out, Renoxus. Quickly. Yeah, story all their shit. I need the I need the tractor beam to clear out this fucking mess though. Oh, fuck. Like, I don't even know. See if you can lock onto this body chat part with me and see if we can lift it up together. Okay, so I see a problem with persistence.
speeding and was it it won't it just oh press b to switch it to traversal mode and see if it'll let you lock onto it Move his body over there. Now the body's getting mushed underneath it. Ah. This is going smashingly. Oh my god. Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? The UEEF Warhammer, a javelin class destroyer, is currently docked with this station and open to the public for tours. Um, where's Speeding Demon and Putt Putt? Where did you guys go? Okay. Bring a ship we can put these two furies in.
move out of the way a little bit deploy the blast shield and you want to form up on my side oh that was an interesting trick I can counteract that weirdness. I hold silver. Oi. Oh God, oh God, no, 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 oh God, yeah, this is going fucking smashingly. Hey, which engine's fucking up on me? Celebrate this year's Invictus. The UEE Navy would like to invite members of the public to explore an active duty destroyer. Please make your way to the docking area for this unique opportunity. No, it's not fucking that one. Where's my main thruster? Nope, 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 that's not it. Yeah, I know. I was trying to... What kind of ship designer makes it to where you can't turn off? Main right, main left. I'm going to be playing it probably here soon because I'm about to get fucking annoyed. Screw it.
Renoxus, where'd you go? I was trying to turn off one, uh, turn off the two failed engines, but it appears that all engines are fucked in one spectacular way or another, so. I can't. No matter what, you know. I literally watched, <laughs> I watched Putt Putt blow himself up. The irony is, is it can actually fly back. going forward that it doesn't like. Come on. No, 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 no. And it's like this triple, the Boeing triple seven problem. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, if that was only a thing. As part of this year's evicted festivities. Well, I don't get motion sick, but damn it. I mean, apparently you can't even look at these things sideways without them fucking blowing up. Of course you would wait till I took my hand off. Turn coupled flight off. Turn coupled flight off, get it going as fast as you can, and then just let off the throttle and let gravity do the rest. Am I serious? Speeding demon, how fast are you moving right now? Because I'm catching up to you rather quickly.
Ezzy, would you let him in? I can only shoot two missiles at a time. It won't queue up four. Could be. No, one thing, this is a good ship for doing these. I still don't know why we all blew up like that, but. <clears throat> What brakes? I have four engines with major torque imbalances. This bitch is all on manual. But we're completing this mission come hell or high water. Make mission victory Jesus. Reentry. Here's where it's going to get squirrely, boys and boys. Jesus. <laughs> Where'd our target go? Apparently flying faster than my missiles can. Okay. So missiles won't even launch. Great.
Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. to invite you to explore one of our fleet's active military vessels. The UEEF Warhammer... I did a bunch of them, Captain Havoc. And accepting tours. They were spread. Oh... <clears throat> oh. 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 No. I use a host ass, Undead Freddy, and welcome to the stream. Oh, that was my nose you just bit, you fucker. I don't see how anyone could use it. It would be so unintuitive. So the angry gravity brake maneuver worked. Oh, really? He's in an arrow. I can come get you and give you a ride, Noxus. Give me a second to get rid of this 60 pound lap dog.
<laughs> Isn't it nice, Hugo? I had to go put uh, put the dog in doggy jail. I don't know what putt putt's in. Putt putt, what are you in? And he's just. He's going 900 miles an hour. Not that he was being bad. It's just whenever he gets overexcited, we put him in the kennel so that he settles down a little bit. Have you ever wanted to see what life is like aboard an active military vessel? The UEEF Warhammer, a javelin I'm getting really annoyed trying to do fucking missions with the damn Fury. It's every single fucking time. Blow up. How do I not, how do I have the top but not the bottom? So what do you guys think? Are you ready for some scary game? Or what's supposed to be a scary game? What do you think? You guys just want to try and scare the shit out of me using... Well, let me get my headphones. Since Renoxus is getting picked up by by the putt putt. No, not phasmophobia. Phasmophobia is not scary. Not even in the slightest. The game, uh, the Outlast Trials is what we were going to play. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, 
Well, it's not one to update there. Update. Oh, cool. And literally an update has came in while we've been playing. Let me do this real quick. Add this to how do you spell epilepsy? Isn't it E P I? Here we go. Basically, you have a stroke while playing this game. It's not our fault. You guys hear all that okay or do you need to turn game volume up some more? Oh, my God. 
Depends on the family havoc. public records, along with the investigatory information about your private life. Well, you've got some secrets, don't you? Naughty. As the restraints make a signature impossible, please acknowledge that you consent to these collections. Thank you. I'm not bad looking, to be honest. If you go for that type. Well, I ain't never been that picky. I just hate seeing their eyes. Hello? Hi. Yeah, my monitor's only got a 75 hertz max. This monitor does.
Yeah, but I mean, I'm hitting, I've got everything cranked settings wise, it looks like. And I'm hitting. the 150 frames a second double my standard refresh rate oh no the intention tonight was always to get to this game this is supposed to be a scary game and I'm incredibly hard to get a jump scare Fallout vibes. Say hello to the camera. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, see right now the problem, I've got to fix something. Let me, before we go any further in this game, if you guys want to try and scare me, let me pause this. I have to do it this way. So you guys will hear this at the volume I hear it at. So everyone knows. Getting a few special ones thrown in there. And if you want to see all the commands, there should be a Lumia stream extension down below. If it's not there, you Exclamation Lumia C O M T 
to see all the commands or to get a link to all the commands that I have set up. You may have to refresh your browser for him to show up. Motherfucker's gonna get tetanus. My family get togethers are fucking weird, but that one's hand was up a minute ago, I swear. Like twenty nine bucks. Ah! 
only trying to help! That one got me a little bit. Dying's easier. Mm. Make sure you guys see an extension below my stream. Good see. If you, repre if you refresh the page down below um, <coughs> in the screen here, you should see a Lumia stream extension. Should have all the There it goes. Somebody clipped that. Somebody did, and that's how it wound up there. One thing, those sirens. Eddie just. Ah, oh, motherfucker.
Okay, Pastor Man, thanks for hanging out with us. No, I don't want to pick up the apple. Bad things are going to happen if I touch that fucking apple. fucking hole in my hand. <laughs> Need some milk. I didn't find any milk. I found some. Don't they think they're clever, Daddy? About the airplane crashing, and it will just crawl from the sky. You can't see me. You must have been in love at some time in your life, even if nobody loved you back. <laughs> love makes you. This is what That's why you say no to drugs, kids. I don't think anybody ever loved you. I'm a gift that needs opening. Every day, scrub and peel and cut and cook.
No shit. Well, that looks pleasant. Wilful and naughty. Look at this baby. Look what happens when baby listens to the voices on the radio and doesn't listen to mother. When babies are bad, mother gets disappointed. And those babies are so clever! Oh, boy, Phyllis, I think I made a mess! See what happens when children try to grow up before their time.
job, your work, your purpose. It's who the world thinks you are. This box contains your collective public records. Destroy it. Free yourself. All right, Normac, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a good night. Sleep well, my friend. I'd call this game scary, but it's fucking weird. Alright, Renoxes, have a good night, man.
For fuck's sake. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, cunt. Sometimes I feel like the three little bears, wondering who's been meddling with Mother's things. Dr. Butterfield. Fucking button.
Really? I mean, it looks good. Give him credit. I have two completely different ideas for under fucking control. Your rebirth begins. Freedom is... Ultraviolet light hazard. Avoid looking directly at light. Okay. This is an MMO. This is your neighborhood. I will be with you to offer guidance and advice. I'm always with you. We're all getting better together. What we do here is going to Oh my God. side of this door is sovereignty, power, tomorrow's history. You're on a rope over an abyss, from a base and disgusting human to something far greater. Trust the therapy. We're turning you into something capable of walking through that door. Something wonderful. How many kilowatt hours I've consumed? Trying to do a set, Tell him. No idea. Another streamer. Okay. Still more fleshed out than Star Citizen.
No idea what the fuck I'm doing, but okay. M-I-S-S X-E-P-H-E-R Oh yeah, Ruger? to get better, you have to do the work. I can't just explain to you how to become a different person. You have to lean in. You have to let the trials inside you. So basically this is all one big tripping balls kind of thing. weird are you picking at your ass let's go I gotta be the lackey. I think we're gonna have to find a generator. Oh, there's VoIP. That's great. Down go. I don't know how to fight shit. Fuck you, I'm staying in the closet.
<laughs> this sounds like a them problem, not a me problem. Oh, well, that sucks. Wild is like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I can't defend myself. I can't do. Oh God, that's a mine. I'm gonna hide here in this little cabinet while I go take a piss. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do.
Like, I mean, we can't kill the damn thing. for a second, Loki. Go under, go under. Yeah, I'm still tripping fucking balls. fuck are they picking up weapons? You see that? Over there, you see over there. You saw over look. You see that? Over there. You see that? Trying to get you not to look over the glass.
It's a fake me. I think could have fooled me. Don't make me work for it! Tommy shit! In the furniture. Stop resisting! I only gotta be right. Ow! Oh, fuck. I ain't shit. Y'all are all equal under the law. I don't think they know what the fuck they're doing either. I don't think anyone does in this fucking game.
<laughs> to me, this game is... Running in fucking circles. They're here to keep the world out. Yep, I'll probably be getting those fucking eight minutes. I don't even understand the game. Like, there's no way to protect yourself other than hiding in a corner. Or a hole. Not my game at all. Yeah, that game was... Probably... For anyone that thinks that game is scary, um... I don't, yeah. I don't know if it was just, I just got to check on my base real quick. That game's not even, I mean, to me it wasn't. To me, that game is just. They used weird game mechanics to cover up crappy writing. Or incomplete writing. Building. 
Yeah, I've literally been scared more often, been startled more often in Scum than I was ever even close to being in that game. Just from taking a shit on a landmine scared me more than that game did. <laughs> We've seen a warrior princess out of this. Oh my god, you poor, poor, pitiful soul. Hang on. Can you calm down now? Hey, Merlin. I can't build a fucking bed. I'll come pop your neck here in a minute. Uh, yeah, I can pop it here in a second. Let me uh, deal with this problem. That's all right. Star Citizen's been weird tonight in general. I didn't either. I'm going to be requesting a refund of that game. Your, your defense is to, to hide in a filing cabinet or under a desk. And you can't, I mean, not to say that I, I I just want a video game where I can run around killing shit. But, I mean, at least being able to defend myself would be a nice touch. Oof. So you called in a vulture and it came in in seven pieces. Did you store it in seven pieces? Hmm. 
That's what it sounds like. Oh my god. And the desync is so fucking horrible right now. On this game, it's not even funny. No, it's not internet. No. Yep, five hours. I think base looks like a prison cell. Try to do something different. But on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a wrap. Oh, you're fine, putt putt. It wasn't your fault. It was just fucking weird. I mean, I'm probably still going to play. I just, I don't know. Um,. Like, part of me still wants to game. I'm just... I don't know. Like, every weird game mechanic is just pissing me off here lately. <coughs> I don't know why. That's the part that's really annoying me. I may take tomorrow off since tomorrow's another ageist day. I may just take tomorrow off and just work on the website, do other projects. I still got videos I need to finish producing.
Oh yeah, I haven't checked that out yet. Oh, the blue and gold? I want to see the new Titan paint that Expat was talking about. What kind of chair do you have, Clutch? There's company that makes chair mounts. <sighs> yeah, uh, monster. Monster mounts. How I have mine mounted. Yeah, my armrests literally lead right up to my my sticks. This chair didn't weigh 500 fucking pounds. Was this the paint she was talking about? The iron weed? Ooh, I do like that. That actually makes the Titan look like a good ship. Something other than a pinched turd that's been hammered out on the ass end of it. Because I... I have already. It's just not a game. I, I... So every Resident Evil that's been out, I've played and beat to the point where it just... Eh. And install. Let's see, how do I do this? Store. Games. How the fuck do you do that? You. Steam, request a refund. I have the Borderlands series on Epic. Good install, though. I, well, not the series. Hell, usually when I get in a hump or a slump like this, I'll play the Far Cry, but I'm so fucking burnt out on the Far Cry game loop. It's like every game models that now. Shoot, loot, rinse, repeat. Shoot, loot, rinse, repeat. It's fucking annoying. why I like Star Citizen so much because it's fucking different. That might be where we go. I could stand to uh, 
destroy my entire factory and rebuild it from the ground up because they they're now redoing satisfactory in unreal 5. is it just me or is everybody kind of in this slump right now <sighs> Go touch grass. You're allergic to air. Thirty bucks. Do I refund it back to my Steam wallet? Reason for refund request. The game is not fun. What'd you do, Putt-Putt? Gosh, lay down. What's the loner for the A1? Yeah, I kind of thought that too. I have no idea. He's outside again. They done any updates to Kerbal's uh, KSP2? Last one was yesterday, two days ago. It would just make me want another fallout.
Hell, it may be time to just... Yeah, I'm just curious how Bethesda's gonna fuck that up. I'm excited for it, but you and I both know their track record for launches is kind of bleak at best. But that's about the only positive. It'll be on Game Pass. So if it is trash, I really won't be out more than like 14 bucks a month for the first month. <laughs> Starfield 2 will be here the time uh, SC gets into beta. Oh, uh, what's our, what's our subs at for this month or for the giveaway so far? That was current. Nice. We're sitting at 107 subs so far. Well, yeah, because Tarkov's a looter shooter, and it's scum, Daisy, um, Rust. Uh, fuck, what's the other one? Ark. Uh, Metro. Beat them all. I don't know what to play. Yeah, that game was, it was interesting, but it literally put me to sleep. It was scum. Well, Fallout 76 was garbage. That was supposed to be their... They're saving Greece and they fucked it up. The first chance at making Fallout an MMO and well all it did was make everybody go no 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 no. Amnesia? Um, that's not a Twitch appropriate game.
Fight it, beat it. What list are you looking at that suggested amnesia? Really? Hmm. Mm. Hot. Darkwood? I'm gonna go Darkwood. Oh, no, it's a top down RT, uh, rip, looks like an RPG. Massage. Oh, we'll see. I don't know, chat. What about you guys? What do you what do you think? Any suggestions? Pray? Was this before or this was before the rebuild, right? Hmm. Um, hmm. DJ Sykes 704. I don't know if I caught you, but thank you so much for the follow. I know that was probably freaking hours ago. When was that? On Frozen Gaming came in. No, oh, that was during the whole gift subs. 
The cat lick? No, I'm not even going to look that up. No. Visage had a bunch of weird reviews too. And it was a shooter. I'm about to have an entire day of just playing the goat simulator. Either that or we may just have to do a, like a week of Deep Rock Galactic or some shit. Deep Rock's always fun. VR is nice, but it's... And correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but it's actually kind of annoying to watch on Twitch. Because of the, like, you don't realize how much your head moves uh, until you stream a game like that and you're watching the playback and you're just, the screen's doing this the whole time. I'm just trying to think of what game that was, Stuicus. Oh, I know what it was. Um, was that new zombie game that fucking came out? We already beat it. I think. I just can't remember the fucking name of it right now. I was playing it with Credo and them on the stream, wasn't it? Yeah, Dead Island 2. Yeah, Credo, Warped, and myself all on stream beat that in a matter of two days. It's still a fun game to keep playing because there's still a bunch of side quests to do. I just really wish somebody would make something new and inventive in the gaming industry that worked. Okay, Pup, Pup, thanks for hanging out, man. Greatly appreciate it. Sleep well, my friend. And uh, we'll see you sometime tomorrow. I'll be in Discord. Do I even have... I'm not even sure if I have Epic Games. Oh. Nope. No. Why do you do that? My screen, my entire computer is set up for dark mode. Edge, you're better than that.
I think I want to check out, check out uh, Satisfactory. I don't know. Maybe it's time I, I do like some type of electronic build or something on stream. I don't know. Just want to do something different. I thought about doing like one of those uh, 600 LED cu uh, 3D cubes, RGB cubes. Problem is the RGB IC ones are hella expensive. Oh, I'm not saying VR can't be done well. So I've got RDR2. Um, and I know this is going to, I'm not trying to sound like I have an excuse for every fucking game style. I just, I'm probably, probably tomorrow I'm going to play some RDR2. One, uh, Harry Nuts runs a RDR server that I've been promising him for weeks that I would hop in and check out. So I'll probably stream that tomorrow if I do it. Uh, it's an RP server um, just to check it out. But I have an affinity, uh, or not an affinity, but I have a, I have a thing with third person games. with third person games. What'd you think I said, Sage? Oh my god. Guys are eight up. Eight up. Oh no. <laughs> I um uh... So here's here's my viewpoint on it. When I play a video game, I want to I want to play the protagonist of the story. I don't play the game to pretend to be the drone flying around the protagonist. Well, in all fairness, I probably um Probably need to go through and finish setting up all my audio before this weekend. Because the dog's outside and he's out and the neighbor's out. He should be on the leash out there. Guy? Oh, he probably went inside.
throw that away. Done. That's probably it. I wouldn't be surprised. Windows update fucking up audio. That's, I still haven't pushed to Windows 11 because one, I don't even know if they've fixed that one issue with Star Citizen and Windows 11 yet. So I'm not even getting full advantage of what my 7950X3D even has to offer because Windows 10 driver doesn't fully do the core separation properly. Yeah, there was a there was a bug. And I can't remember what it was. They probably patched it was with um the easy anti cheat. But that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I will probably end up installing Windows 11 on my desktop tonight. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, get it all. I'll take it out here in a minute. All right, let's see. How much is satisfactory? How is it? Oh, it's verifying. Sweet. Let's check out update seven. <laughs> Yeah, and I kept getting copyright strike, got a fucking copyright strike, got a fucking copyright strike every time I played it on stream. Well, not strikes, but getting muted. So they can go suck a bag of dicks. amazing game that would that's awesome on stream like everyone loved watching the gameplay because the game is fucking gorgeous the gameplay is great death stranding like probably some of the best writing and gameplay well some of the best graphics i think i've ever seen bar none in a game yes This one here with what's his face from Walking Dead? Death Stranding. It's a good game. Yeah, Amazon Delivery Guy Simulator, pretty much. <clears throat> but the graphics in it are fucking gorgeous. Like, gorgeous. And the writing was good, too. There could be more game loops other than running around grabbing boxes and putting them in delivery tubes. But... Still, the graphics were amazing for what for what it was trying to accomplish. Yes. Like when I say that, it set an expectation and then it went past it as far as graphics. Like when you look at when you look at the bot, like when you look at the cover art for the game, right? Of course, now I got to get it to reload. Like, when you look at the cover art for the game, what you see on the cover art is what you see in the fucking game. No, that's not usually how it works. Usually they use some third-party fucking rendering engine to make all their screen caps and everything else, and then what you see in-game looks like a fucking cartoon compared to what they put on the fucking box. Hey, Hammer. Yes.
Hammer must have came in right as I was on my fucking rant. I think I probably just tried to connect to my fucking server that's been... Oh, no. Nope. Still there. Oh, wow. It's actually warming up the CPU a bit. That's the hottest I've seen the CPU get to in a while. It's also the fastest I think I've ever seen those fucking conveyor belts run. Jesus. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, she's warming up now. And that's hilarious. It warms up and the cooler kicks in and it just goes away. I need to go through and like clean this whole build area up. This area is fucking disgustingly built. The other problem with this build too is I had a bunch of mods running on it. Oh, it can be. Oh my God. Yeah, it can be incredibly daunting. Like, I don't even really have a mega factory. Like, I'm not even upgraded to nuclear power yet. Like, this was all going to be material storage over here. Just out of curiosity. Still barely even. Yeah, my computer don't care.
even where we were when we were over by where all the action was happening at it was just what else you got boss Auto save still causes that causes that jerk. Hundred and eighty FPS. So this is concerning. The fact that these are firing off. changes they've made have fucked up the uh, power power the power station it's going mithril I mean, it did actually get the CPU to finally fucking warm up. No. Matter of fact, it all needs to be gutted and go back to the power plant to square one. There's been so many updates released since this factory was built. The problem is, is, and I may just do it tomorrow. I may just say, fuck it and retool this whole factory tomorrow or start retooling it. Taken. It's going to be wire spools. Nope. Seeing if I remember how to do this. Uh, I no. There we go. Uh, logistics. Now they have whole floor hole. Programmable splitters. Logistics.
yet. But I mean, the one thing I loved about this game is even though it's cartoonish, it's still gorgeously rendered. Why is there a fucking tree growing in the middle of my factory? Full of concrete. The lime, sorry. Yeah, like this has just been redone too. They redo the light panels. And you can tell the GPU does not like rendering that many light panels. Why does this thing stop chewing shit up? That's another game I wanted to play, but after watching gameplay of it, I just can't do it.
<sighs> yeah, Ezzy, that factory was that's a large factory, but not the largest. Well, three days, nine. Nine hours, 43 minutes. Oh, we'll figure out something. Hopefully, I'm hoping next weekend, Star Citizen starting tomorrow. Well, I doubt it because all the little, all the kids, I say that term loosely, kids are out of school. Seder complete pack twenty seven seventy five. Has the javelin always been? Tomorrow's Monday. Or what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's another Aegis day in Star Citizen. Oh yeah. Um it's not a holiday. Kids are out for summer. War bond idrises are still available. <laughs> no, nope, it's just summer vacation. No, 1300 on War Bond, 1500 if you buy it with store credit. Oh no, I'm tempted to buy in one of these formation packs. <laughs> I really wish, like, I'm going to be honest with you, the fucking C2 and the M2 and the A2 are way the fuck overpriced. Four, four packs? How much are the four packs? They're 205. 800 bucks for four, four packs. And it's six hundred bucks. That's a ship I've thought about adding to the fleet. Comet. <laughs> What's so special about the fucking Valiant? Yeah, I know. I should have just did that. Oh well, hindsight's 20 fucking 20, I guess, because I can't melt it. That's the only bad thing about the referral tokens.
Really? That's all it is, is fucking paint? It can't be. We're the same way. One meter per second faster, according to the matrix of lies. Slower on max pitch, yaw, and roll. Substantially. Oh, that's what it is. So the Valiant comes with neutron cannons versus the ballistics. Wah, wah, wah. I'll just hold out for my F8. Hey, Night Watch. But I have no audio. I do, okay. How are you, Nightwatch? I am good, my friend. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what it is. Do 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 do. I'm gonna go in and fix that. Nice. Hit it. Record to defeat a vandal in combat. Okay. Hell, they can't even get crabs in the fucking game yet. I'm not worried about vandal at the moment. I do like the comet, though. They redid all the fucking art for these. <laughs> Good to hear, Nightwatch. I'm glad you're getting back on track and everything's starting to feel better and getting back to n a little bit of normalcy. Things are still just as abnormally normal in Star Citizen. Especially with Invictus going on.
Is there not a dark mode? Jesus, people, come on. Yeah, you probably have the dark mode thing turned on in the browser itself that overrides whatever site settings are there. Oh. I'm too fucking lazy for that. I think I think my biggest problem here lately is work. That's why I'm kind of looking forward to my vacation. I'm going to be spending with all you wonderful people. It sucks. The only way I can buy a star fair, uh, not a star fair, a star lifter right now is our star liner is through fucking this pack. They didn't on um, Crusader Day. Crusader was with the first day. They didn't have the Starliner, the Starliner standalone. At least I didn't see it. No, I know IAE will have a stand. I'm talking about right now during Invictus. Like, that's the thing. Like, Invictus launch week is awesome and all, but I'm a freighter, not a fighter. The Citadel Defense Corps with our org is the fighting group. That's that's their cup of tea. Final stickers, you say? Wah, wah. Oh, I can wait. Why did I do that? All right. Well, you know what? It's about that time. Any entries? Only had 35 people. Should I give away today? It was exclamation. Nope. It's Aegis with the capital A. <coughs> the cutlass steel is what you put you and your friends in if you want them all to die. Uh, I'm building up for my, um, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, people hauling, not dropship, but uh, people hauling. That's the word I'm looking for here. Commercial flight. <coughs> yeah, I've got it. Sitting in my buybacks. 
I will not buy an 890 jump. No. Yeah, human trafficking, but with drink dispensers. Well, my thing with the 890 is the 890 is the way it's priced. It's like the A2 and the M2. It's a great ship, and it serves its purpose. Well, it doesn't even serve its purpose at the moment. But it's overpriced for what it is. So is my Phoenix Emerald. Mama said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this, my mama said. Hell, maybe I should get back to playing music. Just want to be able to put my own fucking library on my org ships. That's all I want. I am but a simple man, and I do not ask for much. Give me a tall ship. Guard a sailor by. Yeah. Get everybody riled up over that bullshit again. Like, hey, Sig, my stream chat even has hex codes built into it. Oh, man. Well, on that note... <sighs> You know, I'm also about to the point where I'm just going to start picking a name randomly off the top of my fucking head and giving a ship to. Instead of doing the whole wheel thing, because even this thing is starting to give me doubts over its randomness. My arc, are you in chat? I know my arc subbed. <laughs> I haven't got it finished ran print. It's got some bugs in it. It's random. I'm probably will probably test drive it on like Thursday. You know what to do, my arc. You've been in here long enough. You've heard enough other people win. Now it's your turn. Send me that message. 
you know what to do congratulations i'm gonna be sending you a fury I'll send you, I'll even be nice and send you the concierge edition with a special paint and uh, LTI. Because you've pretty much been in here since I started streaming fucking, what was it, six and a half hours ago? Oh, does it? Cool. There you go. Well, now you got a reason to have an extra hip in your step at work. Oh, no problem. Don't thank me. Thank whoever sent you here. I'm kidding. I appreciate you. I love each and every one of you guys. You know that. You're all amazing. If it wasn't for you kind, gener generous sons of beaches, I couldn't do this shit. Let me find out where the, f where the forks it at. Stand alone. Yeah, wise bots got you. Wise bot. Oh, disco. Yeah, that, well, it's actually three grand if you don't pay cash, if you use store credit. But yeah, it's a $2,700 ship. I wonder if there's a split on how much you can use the store credit or if it all has, it has to all be cash. That reminds me, I gotta send, uh, send store some more bobbleheads. I said, I'm gonna wait till he's least expecting it. Just <laughs> do you want the MX or do you want the regular? I'll give you the choice. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm leaving. I'm probably going to ditch the other MXs that I have for, for the Pew Pew edition. Okay. Just put it in that message you send me when you get the chance. Hey, execute. Well, I'll pay for one if you pay for the other. I've been on. I just haven't been on on my late night streams. I do uh, just about every other day during the regular week. Then on Saturday and Sunday, it's usually a uh, long stream. The day was a bit weird just because I couldn't get into the fucking game. And I can only church it up for so long. <laughs> No, no, I've been doing a pretty good job of standing on my soapbox the past couple of hours bitching about the video game industry as a whole. And people that make third-person point-of-view fucking games, there's a special place for them in hell. Oh. The ship's not bad. It's fun to fly, but you know, it, from a purely, purely technical standpoint, if you fart too hard in that thing, you're going to blow the front off of it.
Hell, putt putt earlier on. God damn it, that means I gotta put my headphones on. Hang on. Just put them away, too. <laughs> are you saying bomber pilots are uh are gassier than non non bomber pilots? Is that what you're saying? Well, that's awesome. I can't hear any fucking thing either. Yeah, I'm plugged in the right hole. Test. Test. Ow. Well, hop your ass in the lobby and I'll drag you up there, execute. Jesus, it's already almost fucking 1 a.m. Last time I looked at it, it was fucking 11 o'clock. Yeah, I wish Aegis wasn't two fucking days. Aegis does not need two days to show off its, what, seven ships? Yeah, all two days. So from today at uh, 10, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time all the way to Tuesday, 10 a.m., 11 Central Standard Time. He tells me to hop in Discord and then fucking disappears. We will, but nothing's... I mean... Who the fuck knows? I just want him to get the game to a point where I can fucking play it without having to worry about losing all my shit to the drop of a hat simply because their server decided to take his shit. I'm trying I'm trying my damnedest guys not to to sound like the other bitchy st streamers but just getting fed up here lately. Uh well, I mean we're getting the whole C on a, in a couple in a few months. So, I mean, that's a capital ship. But it's been a hot minute. Well, the thing is, is, it's not even, it's broken in a fucked up way to the point where sometimes you'll get it and sometimes you won't. Oh, yeah, it's been a hot minute. We're still waiting on Anvil's capital ship. What's Anvil going to do for a cap ship? So in order for 30K protection to work, okay, Aristavo, is basically when the server crashes, you go make you a plate of food, a cup of coffee, sit down and eat the plate of food, drink the cup of coffee, and then try launching back into the game. And it's supposed to try and put you back on that shard that crashed. 
if it's rebooted yet. If it's rebooted. But I don't even think they're rebooting them yet. Yeah, so what it's supposed to do and what it actually do, does is two different things. I love Anvil's design ethos, but they haven't put out anything new in a while. And our next... I think our next big ship is going to be another... R, is going to be an RSI mining vehicle. But if Anvil was going to announce anything, it would be during SitCon. Yeah, but that's not a cap ship. That's been... That was a... Fucking... A flying penis with a door on the end of it. To design to penetrate and inf infiltrate your your hole. Where did execute go? Um. No, the centurion is the. Uh, No, you're fine. If if you need to deal with that, deal with it, because I'm actually getting tired. And like I said, I've already been streaming six fucking hours. Yeah, Centurion is the is a ground vehicle. The Liberator is the boarding vessel. Yeah, Legionnaire, that's right. I would have thought of any other fucking name for that ship. He should have named that ship the fucking Trojan. <laughs> and boy is it ever a trojan it's sitting there holding a whole bunch of your little guys waiting for them to breach a hole in and find their prize yeah the reclaimers the reach around oh Oh, shit. Yeah, it's morning in Australia right now, isn't it? Like noon? Oh, 3.40 p.m.? Okay. I don't know. I just know that's when you got right about now is about the time all the Australians start calling me at work. And to be honest with you, I've never, well, I take that back. I've had one that had a shitty attitude. Other than that, I've never had a bad conversation with an Australian or a Canadian. I 
I have a feeling probably hammer those will be coming out in Q3 or Q4, I'm sorry. Hell, Canadians, every Canadian I've ever talked to, they're apologizing that they're calling me this late at night. Yeah, Australia, you can say it's going to cost X, Y, Z to fix the problem. They're just like, fine, if I can fix it, I don't care. I just want to fix it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry to call you so late but my website's down did you try to restart it no then why are you calling me no I, I, I'm not that mean I'm not that just like well why are you calling me that's usually that are my personal favorite that I absolutely love to do is someone calls in and I'll ask them, when was the last time you like, they're having trouble getting a page to load or whatever the case may be. When was the last time you restarted your computer? Right before I called. I'll go, cool. Press control alt delete for me and click on task manager. And then task manager opens up and I go, cool. Click on performance and click on CPU and underneath uptime. Can you tell me that first number? And they're usually anywhere between 30 and 90. I go, cool, that means you you haven't restarted your computer in like 30 days. Let's start there. And they're like, well, that's not going to make a difference. I go, do you leave your car sitting out in your driveway just idling all the time? No, it'll wear it out. I go, and what makes you think? You're not doing the same thing to your computer. Well, there's not moving parts in there. I go, oh, what about the fans? Uh, what about all the little electrons scooting along the traces inside that fucking motherboard? I typically restart mine once every seven days. Ideally, best practice is every three. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to check and see if there's a new update for my motherboard. Uh, that was an Oris. Chipset. X670. Elite. Support. Uh, BIOS. They released one and immediately released another. <coughs> Shit, what version of BIOS am I running? I think I'm running that one. Fuck. Ah. Uh. It takes longer for mine to post than it does to boot into fucking Windows. Why does your raid card take so fucking long to start up? Oh, spinners. That's why. Ew. Ew. Making me feel dirty and shit. F8D. This was not on the website on the 18th.
Looks like I'll be doing a BIOS update after I get off here. Why, why did this take so fucking long? Why? Did you delete me out of your friends list, execute? See how it is. We don't have cat videos, we have uh Yeah, cat videos, right. That's why we have a pet photos section. That's another thing that sucks. AMD's fucking RAID driver is garbage. Absolute fucking garbage. Well, I mean, so Aristotle, all my all my spinny platters are actually in a NAS in a RAID configuration. Yeah, I don't need 15 terabytes on board. I mean, more power to you if you do, but... I don't have a need for that much. Like, as it sits on this PC alone, I've got one, two, three, four, five terabytes. I don't keep, I don't keep enough Steam games installed at a time for all that mess. And if I do, I'll just ro roll, a, like, I'll roll one over into say to one or say to two. Those are SATA SSDs. They don't require the most speed because the games just don't require that much performance. Now, what I'll probably end up start doing here soon, now that I'm starting to do more video production, is... Uh, do a nightly images. Did execute get in? Say hi to Reno's left hit.
I know in my main NAS, the one that you're seeing on the deal there, that's got um, four eight terabytes in a RAID zero, and then I have another NAS in the closet that's J-botted that it mirrors to. I think that NAS there is sitting, oh wait, no, I take that back. It's sitting at 15 terabytes because it's got uh, two in RAID zero with a mirror. Why is, oh. Uh. Hey, OG. Just a second. Yeah, I can't hear shit when that thing's going off. What do you know, stranger? I'm um, sleep deprived as fuck. Bro. Sleep deprived as fuck. I mean, I just had, I mean, you would have been here laughing your ass off if you saw what happened. So my NVIDIA shield, the cable dropped out of the back and it just stopped working on the TV. And that's what I was using to watch you with so I couldn't communicate. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I get up, try to fix that, and I've got like a torch behind the TV and all that, and then the torch falls down behind the, the, the cabinet and the TV, so I'm then I'm pulling the computer out, and then I'm knocking all this shit off on the floor, and it's just fucking cascading one thing to the other. And now somehow I've lost, in my room, both TV remotes, and I can't control the TV. Yeah. What a day. Like, both TV remotes, like the ba it's like the batteries weren't working, so I went to look for batteries now. Now you can't find the remotes. <laughs> Yeah, like I like I, I was literally put one on the bed, turned around, and the case of the back of it was there, but then the whole remote was gone. It's underneath the dresser and the just, TV was on. Uh no, that's on the other side of the room. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just having a day, man. Sleep deprived in me did not go hand in hand, man. They oh no. Really bad. No, they don't. And and yeah, <sighs> those are those are bright lights. OG, how are you, my guy? How's life been treating you? But no. So what's your hot take on the Fury, man? I've <clears throat> been asking people because some people love it, some people hate it. And like if you stand up and say that you hate it, people say people seem to get really annoyed. It's not it's like that harsh reality. It's and I shouldn't say you hate it. Like they, uh, my my problem with it is it's not worth its price, as usual. You know, you know my stance on that shit. Well, I agree with you there. I don't think it's worth fifty bucks at all. I see that as a thirty dollars ship tops. Um, the Archimedes is 35, so I think I, I, I could be generous and give it 40, but I don't think in any way it should be worth more than a ship that comes with a quantum drive, aka all the starter ships. So the Pisces, the Mustang, the Aurora, even the Carter was 45 at Warbond. And the crazy thing is, if you go look on the website, at $55 when it goes off Warbond, so it's going to end up at $55, that's the price of an Avenger. Yeah. Right. They keep comparing it to the Arrow, and it is similar to the Arrow, but the Arrow is also seventy-five dollars, not fifty-five dollars. And at fifty-five dollars, the Avenger comes with two size threes and a size four, so that just totally floors the guns. Not to mention a bed, quantum drive, and cargo bay. Well, and not even that. I mean, the fucking the you're better off on that ship ripping two of the guns off. Because your capacitors yeah. don't have enough power to really feed them to be effective. Someone was saying that they want to do some testing. Ah, I found one. I found one of the remotes. Woo! Um, that took a while to find. Um, was saying they want to test it with four size ones. Um, the one thing we did find, though, in the testing with the shooting is if every shot hits from the volley, right, perfectly, it will destroy another, uh, another Fury perfectly. Every single shot, so 116 shots. So it's balanced for snub versus snub. Yep. And um, against an arrow, it's about roughly one and a half volleys. Um, another weird thing we found in testing is if you have the, the Fury MX, as soon as the shield goes down, it actually breaks that armor shield and folds it down, and you can't put it back up. Interesting. So if the shields drop, it breaks the blast shield. Yep essentially 
that explains a weird bug I was experiencing the other day with it. Oh, yeah. thank God. I got a remote that works. It must have been the batteries. So interesting thing. Sorry. If you're sitting in the ship and you power the shields off using the MFD, you won't be able to close mm -hmm. the uh, blast door either. Oh. I, I've also found some weird things with it. Like, um, so on paper, the Merlin has more DPS than the Fury, right? But it has that Tiger Strike as well as the two ballistic guns, right? Oh, the two um, badges or whatever they're called. Um, so it, but it seems to take eight seconds instead of four to fire, like to break through. Mm -hmm. um, where the, where the, the full volley on the Fury is about four seconds, right? The, 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 the Merlin can go twice as far, but it seems to be. The damage from, and I haven't tested this thoroughly, but just on initial inspection, it won't do damage to the hull if the shields are not down. It's like they've coded it really dirty because it's got a really low HP pool, like like ridiculously low. I don't know what it is, but in the files, it actually said zero. It's a flying in, beer uh, can. Uh, I, I, think that's, I think that's generous because beer is good, so I've just <laughs> been calling it a tin can. I wanted to call it a baked bean can, but it doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well as... Um, Beer can is more accurate, but beer is good, and this is not good. Well, the reason um, I say a beer, the reason why I say it's a flying beer can is because you can't use it for a ship until you've already drank the beers. So the can is worthless after you've consumed the beverage. Yeah, this is true. Oh, I guess an empty beer can. Okay, on that we can agree. Yes. Where the fuck did this other remote go, man? But I, I will say, for what it is, it is fun to fly. Mm -hmm. But, oh yeah, very fun. And um, if you're going to guess variants, most two people come to the same two conclusions. But like, give me two variants. Well, I mean, besides the two that already exist, you're going to see. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I think it, 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 we'll, we'll go into other stuff later if you haven't seen my stuff this week. But like, we put videos out, man, and then they just go everywhere, and everywhere everyone takes credit for shit. It's really weird with our videos. We've noticed that for years. Like, it starts with us and then goes other places. We've had that with multiple videos, but we don't give a fuck. As long as people are thinking outside the box, we've done our job. Very, I, mean, I could see it as a putting uh, some tractors on it and using it for a point recovery vehicle. That's uh, exactly right. That's what, that's one of the variants. So like a utility tractor beam, you know, because they're designed it. I don't know if you know this, but our grid actually found in the whole A, um, the whole A um, Q&A. It actually talks about, so this is going back to like 2014 when they did all the Q&As for the whole series. It actually talks about they're working on a micro fighter to work with the whole series. Oh, that makes now, so if much you look at fucking back, sense. Yeah, if you look at the back of this ship, there is clearly something at the bottom, like under the power plant. It looks like a quick disconnect. And there's these two giant metal pins. And on the end of those, it's got indents. Like it goes into a hole and then something grabs it at the end so it can't come out. Like a docking arm or something like that. That's what we're expecting. You know, and then yeah. and the real question, like the number of videos I saw this week that was ludicrous, was what does this fit in? And every every streamer was just trying to put as many as they can in X ship, but that wasn't the right question. The right question is, what does this connect to? And I and because it's Japanese, like Mirai, mm -hmm. I called it the bosun, and bo means mother, and sen means boat. Roughly translated in Japanese, if you are Japanese, you know what I'm talking about. It it means mothership. So yeah. what is the mothership? for this because every snub in the game has a mothership and no one was asking that question and that's the most important question of all because that this ship is not relevant really it's what, what is that big ship that's coming what, what you know what is that going to be a massive carrier and then we had other people like so we, we had a concept that we did but just before we were going to like go live someone posted a star fair with all the refueling pods which is the same idea we had removed and they were just hanging off the back and then someone else had a picture of it replacing the turret on the carrick but no one besides us had put those two ideas together what if it is a weapons platform where they act as turrets but then when they decide to they can disengage and drop off e either like escape pods or pursuit vehicles because they have ridiculously low amount of fuel and they can chase after you and kill you and yeah. and so you could literally have a ship that's like akin to Obi Wan Kenobi's ring ship with a quantum drive on it, right? It just transports all the snubs there. They all fly off, kill shit, come back to it. So they're like sharing a quantum drive essentially. 
Yeah, and I mean, I, I agree with you 100%. I don't see them going as far on the Starfare as to making it a whole seat. I mean, you could fit several dozen oh, on a sorry. fucking Starfare. Let, let me... Let, I think you missed the key word, and Algrid missed the key word when I said it to him. It was a concept. Right, so oh, it's yeah. just to show the oh, idea yeah, yeah. of how it could work. There's a massive problem there with it having a blind spot, obviously with the Starfarer. But the reason why we also picked the Starfarer is it has the gantry. So when you kind of turn them around to face the gantry, you could step off the gantry into the turret, and then the turret will turn around and then act like a turret. Okay. We also had MXs on it as well. So you could have like the, the, the normal ones on the corners acting like turrets and the MXs in the middle that you get on and, and, and you know, go out with the missiles and then come back up for them. Yeah. Well, I, and I mean, as a concept, it's it's a cool idea, but I mean, you're going to see those attached to the whole C, the whole D, and the whole E. Oh, yeah, but, but I also think we, uh, I, like, even if they don't do it with this ship, it shows the thought process for other snubs. We, we came up with about four or five different ideas for snubs in this way, and I think because this thing is literally a flying turret, I think that's how this one will be used. But, like, there might be, an, like, imagine they just brought it up, a, a small attachment just for this ship, and it's literally like the ring from Obi-Wan. So it, it takes a snub, and you can connect it to almost any snub, and it just gives it a quantum drive. Oh, I, I have no doubt in the world that that's what they're going to end up doing with it. Yeah, So yeah, but you, can you see what I mean? Like, you could make five different snubs from five different manufacturers. Yeah. I and have... all the outcomes. Like we, we started to realize this is not a concept for one snub. This is a concept for many snubs. And they've probably had these for years, and we're probably going to see a lot more snubs coming, is what we're trying to say. Because also, you know, people when we ask it for a pocket carrier. That is the definition of a pocket carrier, like a bunch of small snubs. It's yeah. the only thing that can pull it off. Well, Ruger, so what that'll be is, so the, the, the cargo pods on a carrier are module containers. They're, those, are yes, just, those are just placeholders until they get done with it. So there probably will be a um yep a fury, what if they a fury go one module step further? what if they go one step further what if they make it so the tu the turrets can have an attachment so all of a sudden you can attach this as a turret instead have a good night aristavo thanks for hanging out and sleep well my friend well yeah and i can I, I, I can i can see that happening the question I'm, i i pose for that is if you're going to do that and o the only way they would be able to get into it as it's designed right mm -hmm. now is from the front uh, yes, but that's the other thing. Like, as I said, it requires some kind of arm so, or, or, or a way to spin round, right round, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, and in some cases, like, that might be the drawback to it. Like, if you want to get in the turret uh, on that ship, you might have to EVA out to it. That's, that's a, you know, you get the advantage of being able to disconnect, but the, the disadvantage is you've got to sit out there and stay out there for a while. Yeah. Well, and, and that, that, that adds to... Kind of everything. That also adds to more gameplay loops as, as uh, abandoned, yeah. you know, something you heard in the Star Wars universe quite a bit, a TIE fighter that got mm -hmm. separated from its fleet. Yeah, that's correct. So, um, I mean, I, I can, can see that thought we experiment back, expanding. We kept coming back to TIE fighters a lot, actually. So um, in uh, TIE Squadrons, I think it was called, the game that came out, um, a couple of years ago, they actually have ships in that for TIE fighters where they would dock the TIE fighters, four of them would dock with a ship and then it would warp yeah, you know the ones I'm talking about? yeah but yeah, I see them making jump rings for them, or at least not even, I mean even if they don't go as far as like full full jump kick, because remember we got master modes coming soon so master modes is going to change yeah how we travel around planets and stuff like that so we may not have a full quantum capability but you'll have one that can do you know enter inter orbital flight maneuvers from planetary station to moon i don't disagree with that one either that's very very possible um but i mean i, I, I you know going back to your 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 original question um, mm -hmm. You know, they say they put in ships that don't have their full game mode worked out. They launch this as a fighter because that game mode is available. But mm -hmm. what I see them doing, because you saw the four packs they saw they sold on the store, um, you're going to yeah. see them expanding on that. And then when I guarantee fucking to you, when that quantum ring comes available, that'll be another item available on the store. 
Yeah. What did you think of the the twelve pack? A bit much. I mean, that was the most crazy one. Like I had lots of people going, "What the fuck?" About well, that no, one. you think about the people that want the pocket carriers to have a group of guys on a small ship that can just deploy in a moment's notice. That's perfect for them, and it's not more expensive than a fucking hall a so or not a hall a but a uh, a2 so, i mean if you think yeah, about I'll, it it's really not that bad that amount of money if you've got that amount of money uh buy a big ship don't buy lots of little ships that's the definition of what we try to teach people but the people that already have yeah. that the the thing is is that's two different demographics the people that the people that have well, can that can working, disposable can income working, yeah but i can see it working for an org right but by the same token you really don't need more than one ship anymore like we've got so many ships in the game we're already starting to get to diminishing returns and what i mean by that is like a lot but like the older backers you'll talk to a lot of them and they haven't spent money in you know three four years because it, what they do is they just move shit, shit around you know ship x comes out and it's better than ship y so they just you know they move shit around to to, to get the new one yeah and that, that, that's why we've seen the rise of things like war bonds and stuff like that, because like, even if they can just get 10 or $20 out of us, at least it's some money. So, yeah, yeah. And well, you, you also have to think, you know, playing devil, devil's advocate here. All right. I'll, I'll be the, the, uh, I'll be SIG. It's they're also not everybody is going to want to play the, the game loop the same way or a particular play loop the same way. Some people may want the light fighter. Some people may not. Some people may want to do, you know, bounties and stuff like that with a group or beacons with a group of 10, 12 guys that they just pull up to an area, the snubs deploy, and then they the, the main carrier ship backs off and lets the snubs do their work. They all come back and they all take off. Things I've heard people say is cost. I've heard that a few times because it's going to be cheaper to move lots of small ships than multiple, med small or big or medium. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um. So in so in so you know it takes a lot less fuel to drive. You know you can take one Hercules and put eighteen of these in it. You know if you're desperate and you just don't have the money to get across. But I don't know. I just don't see that happening in a in a fleet situation because like you, even going in with eighteen of these, you're risking dying and. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't see it personally. I, I think it, they've overhyped it. Um, I don't know. You know what my stance on small ships, so I don't really need to say much to you. You know where I'm coming from. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I see your point of view. 100% I see your point of view. Um, but you, all, you also think about it too. A, a lot of Star Citizen players are you know, middle-aged men that have the disposable income to buy the shit they want to fucking buy. Yeah, and, correct. Um, you know, you're in, not pinpointing your demographic, but you also have to think a big portion of your watchers are also people who may not have the disposable income, so they're trying to get the most bang for their buck, and that's where your information is mainly calling to, is getting the most bang for your buck per ship. Correct. So... While your information is not incorrect, um, it's just a different target demographic. Me, personally, you think mm -hmm. about streamers, too. That's that's a streamer pack. So community day, we get a, C2, a couple of C2s with a couple of formation packs in it. We can get all the community into the game and go out and have fun. Or blow them all up inside the hangar of a Starfare. Or the cargo bay of a Starfare. We did that earlier on tonight with four of them. And they will chain react, by the way, too. Hmm. I guess in time we'll see, like, every ship's got its place, but I just think, I think you would agree with me on this, that there are some things that are just better value than others. Oh, 100%. Um, 100%. And, 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 like, just like I say, vehicles are not good value. You know, like, you, you, you can't not look at the Avenger and look at this and go, oh, yeah, they're, they're on the same level. You can't. It's just. It's. You just can't. It's Ferrari versus Volkswagen. Yeah. That's what you're looking at here. This is not a ship that is tailored for the everyday pilot. This is a, a ship that's tailored for a very specific niche. That's why they price yeah. pointed it where they price pointed it at. And everybody will um, buy one for a while 
and the people that buy one and realize it doesn't fit into their gameplay loop will either end up melting it mm -hmm. or turning it into an LTI token. Yeah. I think six months from now, though, there's going to be a lot of people that are just like, yeah, fuck it, don't worry about it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I, I could be completely I have a, wrong on that one. I have a feeling here in about, oh, four or five months, we're probably going to be hearing some Squadron 42 news. That's my feeling. Yeah. Um, I think the Squadron 42 news is uh, Citizen Con. Yeah. And I think the release is really... Um, the release is, uh, how do I put this, uh, next year. Oh, if you yeah. think about it, if they release the game, most people are not going to give a shit about the Citizen Con <coughs> that comes out. They're just going to go play the game. Oh, so yeah. I think this year is the, the announcement in the US, and I think the, the actual game is going to release in like Manchester, Frankfurt. But while the staff are off celebrating, everyone else is going to be playing. So. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, I, 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 I kind of want to be there for that with the staff, because like, I've kind of followed along the whole time. I can hold off playing the game for a couple of days, you know. Um, each to their own. You know, but um well and the, the nice thing about the squadron game itself is it's an offline game. So like if we want our if we want our Star Citizen fix and Invictus or IAE is going on and the servers, you know, the hamsters have fallen off the proverbial fucking wheel, uh, mm. we can hop in squadron and do some shit in there and play it solo. Yeah. It, it it's gonna be squadron's gonna be a game that will bolster in huge numbers, SC sales, because everyone that plays Squadron, as long as, long as it's not a dumpster fire, because we, we all know Chris can go off the rails with things sometimes. I do think he's taking his time with it, though, because of things like what happened with Cyberpunk. Do you remember the letter from the chairman that he dropped up, and he literally specifically mentioned look, what's happened with Cyberpunk? Yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to be rushed. I'm going to take my time. Mm -hmm totally agree with that i i 100 agree with that you get one chance in life think about all the times this has happened to you you get one chance in life to make a good first impression oh yeah well and the game will be great but what i think this is what i was talking about chris going off the rails i love chris to mm. death i love everything he's produced but now that he's had no publisher to rein him in like look at our control schema for the game right now yeah, but also look at how far and deep and wide we've gone. Like, you wouldn't get this with a published because all they'd be pushing for you is to, oh, we've got pre-orders at this point. It's, you know, they're looking at metrics and going, it doesn't matter, we're going to make money on this now, just push it out the door. Because oh, yeah. now we're starting to lose money because we're taking too much time. That's how they look at things. They look at oh, everything yeah, yeah, with yeah. a banknote and dollar sign, right? And, and when you're just a creative, it's completely different. They're just taking all the money, putting it back into the game, as they should. Yeah, exactly. And, and then the profit's going to be... And, Robert's going to come after Squadron 42 comes out. Oh, yeah, 100%. And again, when Squadron releases Star Citizen sales and new members will probably shoot through the fucking roof. Hey, yep. Michael. Uh, but it's going to be one of those things that it's also going to play heavily on the playability of Star Cit or Squadron 42, the game. You know, um, and there's a lot of things I've seen in their little sneak peeks that they've done during IAEs and things like that and sitcoms where yep. it looks like, you know, the learning curve on Star Citizen is steep. Um, I'm scared or I'm, I'm mindful that Squadron 42 is probably going to be much deeper because a lot, if not all of everything that's in Squadron will get rolled into SC. In one Agreed. way, shape, form, or fashion. They have, said, they have said that towards the end of this year, they're going to try and do that yeah. with a lot of it. So um, it, it's going to be interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm excited for it. Like, I'm, I'm uh, after Invictus is over, um, like, starting June 1st, we're actually, I'm starting my big push to start generating the funds that we need to travel to California for SitCon and go there live. Is we would like to God, stream the life. To I, I would have had to start that at the beginning of the year, like because it's just it costs. Like, I'm literally as far from a COG studio as you can get. Well, um, yeah, I mean, um, it's I like to, I, I was talking to, well, I was talking to a morphologist, and when I talked to a morphologist about traveling because he'd gone to Manchester, so this was a couple of years ago. He said it cost him five grand USD to go from um, 
Thailand to Manchester. And that's a lot shorter than me going from where I am to the United States. And $5,000 for essentially what is one day is a lot of money. That so I can't really justify. for me, the wife and the dog, Willie, mm. for all three of us to fly there round trip, back and forth, it's like 1500 bucks. You got to take the dog? Yeah. The dog's on the logo too, my guy. Hands up if you think that's slightly weird. <laughs> like the, the dog can stay home. Like that's a lot of expense. I don't have anyone Take to watch. Take another person before. I don't, oh, okay. I guess you. I don't uh, have anyone don't have to. Anyone. Don't have anyone to watch the dog. And Willie is just as much a part of this stream as anyone else. And um, he's 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 part of the channel. He is. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, I honestly, I honestly think a, a few of my members would, would probably send me very nasty messages if, if I left Willie all alone was a stranger, while I went to California mm -hmm. for sitcom. Mm, okay. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Chat. I, I reckon it'll be one or two. <laughs> They're the crazy ones, right? They're the crazy ones. No, it's fine. Um. No, I get it. Especially if you've got no one to look after him, no relative that can look after him or well, something like that. That uh, makes more sense. I have relatives that could look after him, but none that I would uh, trust with him. That I could trust. That I would trust with that much, you know, because he's okay. Yeah, he's he's as much. I I hate to do the whole like pet kid thing, but that's probably about as mm. close as it is. Yeah. Look, I, I would, I, I would um, love to go, but I just can't justify the expense, and it's just because of where I live in the world. It's just, it's just too far, and I only intend to go kind of to one citizen con, and it was always to be the release of Squadron Forty Two, and I firmly believe that that's going to be next year in Manchester. Yeah. But, you know, well, we'll when, see. when I get there, I will let you know, and scheduling wise, and you can rebroadcast my my feed through your. Mm -hmm. Your your Twitch stream and your YouTube stream. Yeah, probably. That's not a bad idea. At least we can stop in and say what you're doing or whatever. But last year I just literally kind of just restreamed the event, yeah. and um, a lot of people just sat there and watched it with me because I, I, you know, and and when there was breaks that I'd I'd talk and stuff and ask people what they thought and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, yeah not a lot of people were streaming it on YouTube, so it just um. Well, the main reason to go is. The reason there's there's only really one reason to attend these events in person, all right? Um, mm. it, well, there's a couple. One is the experience. Two is meeting fellow streamers and friends. You know, people you've worked with throughout mm. the year, things like that. But that's really it. Everything else could be covered from home except for like Q and A. Mm. And if you got it, really is for the, it really is for the staff. It's never really been for us. Oh, and yeah. I think that, I think that is really evident. The more thought process you put into it um yeah i i because i'm gonna be honest i got a lot more out of the virtual ones than i ever did out of the ones that were in person because when they did the virtual ones they catered for everyone when they're in person they tend to just cater for who are there and you feel very excluded when you're at home especially when you you, you know there's a lot of people that can't afford to go there's a lot of people that can't get there like myself you know so you just you feel like you you're excluded um and it kind of sucks to be honest um and i don't think they ever get that feeling because they're never exclusive because they're the ones putting it on and they're always there so oh yeah they know everything yeah, yeah see he heard us mm. talking about well he's here is he i can't see sorry I, no, I should turn the stream back on hold on i did find the remotes Someone um, sent me a, a predator mask uh, that someone modeled. I'm thinking about 3D printing it. That's what I'm doing at the moment. All right, I can see you now. Well, oh, it's coming up. There he is. Okay. Oh. I click the button. No, no, you can't. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Who's the star of the show? The entertainment and mm. in the back. Spot. Now slightly over the tongue. Just He know he loves you. Well, at least he loves the food, right? Let's put it that way. I think we can agree on that. He oh, loves yeah. the food. Oh yeah, this is his house. We he just lets us stay here. That's the oh, same with my cats, the bastard. <laughs> That's why they keep telling me. Sons of bitches. The only time he gets pissy is if I don't give him get down. Get down. Get down. That was a straight up denial. Get down. Get down. Just unplugged my headset, shithead. Well, someone's got to keep you on your toes, man. Oh, yeah. But with that said, I gotta go spend time with the wifey. Are you going to get in trouble? Well, she's been sick for the past couple of days, and today was her day off, and she's feeling better. Take the trash out, because the trash is going to run here in a couple hours. Ah, so good. All right, man, well, it's good to catch up. I, as I said, it's been a while since I've seen you around. Oh, okay. um, I just wanted to say hello, because I felt like I was excluding you or some shit, but I had actively been looking for you. You just hadn't been at the same time. I'd been awake, man, you know, so oh, I didn't see you. No but if, yeah, if you want to talk to them, reach out, bro. Oh, will do. Uh, I've been catching. Right, you're, you're oh, sorry. I've been catching your streams. I just haven't been able to say anything because you're usually streaming as I'm ending, uh, getting ready to head to work. So all I can do is really watch quietly. Because the moment oh, I touch okay. the keyboard to type a question, that's when the phone will ring, and I'll never hear the answer. <laughs> all right, man. You take care, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right, man. It's nice Bye catching now. up. Don't be a stranger. I'll see you later. Yeah, likewise, man. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Hey, get down. Hey, get down. That's enough. Enough. All right. Yeah, wait, give me just a second. Let me let this shit. I agree. The launch mechanism on a carrot cargo pod system would be great because you could stack them up by twos of dual layers for people to load in and shoot them out each side. Great. But with that said, guys, the day has been a blast. I've got to go do the husband duties of taking the trash out and getting everything ready for her to go to work tomorrow. I love each and every one of you guys. Without the you guys, this stream wouldn't be possible. So thank you all again for everything you do. My art, congrats on the Fury win. Uh, I think we're going to raid out to your stylus. Gonna stream out to you, Silas. You guys have a good one. Execute. Thank you for stopping by. Missed you, friend. Don't be a stranger. I'll be sure and trying to catch your hop in and be a part of your streams more often as well. Adulting sucks. Real life gets in the way of all of our fun plans. Michael, thanks for stopping by. Everyone, Mithril, Store, uh, Pagla, Sage, OG. Um, Aristavo, 
all you guys, Credo, everyone that gifted subs today. You guys are all absolute legends. And again, I couldn't do any of this without you. Um, thank you guys for an amazing stream and a wonderful way to wrap up the weekend. Uh, remember, we have the streamathon starting on Thursday, I believe it is. I'll have to relook at my calendar, but either Thursday or Friday we'll be starting that off. Um, and that'll be running until the end of the month. So hopefully, hopefully, some of that mythical, magical, you know, streamer, privilege, server, pixie dust stuff kind of falls on whatever server I'm signing into and we get good luck for the rest of the, uh, the event so that we can cover that in full as much as possible. We'll be playing some new games as well. Um, I will be around tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream. I will announce it um, in either on Twitter or in Discord or even both tomorrow. Um, remember to smile. It can change someone's day and to be the difference you want to see in the world. Um, until next time, guys, 73s. I'll see you in the verse for myself, Willie, and Esmeralda. All the love in the world and keep being the amazingly awesome people that you are because without you we couldn't do everything that we do thank you guys very very much have a good night we'll see you later